Hi everyone and welcome to Murder UK with me, Vanessa. Today we're at Leek Cemetery and we're here to visit the graves of a family who were brutally murdered in a house fire. This is the story of the Carter family. In the late hours of March the 9th, 2006, a huge fire lit up the sky in the sleepy village of Cheddleton. Amanda Carter lived with her partner, Roderick Hine, 44, and her three children, Samantha, 16, Patricia, 10, and little Marcus, 7. They lived in the small village in Cheddleton, not far from the historical town of Leek. Amanda worked nights as a carer at a local care home, while Roddy, as he was known, would look after the children. Samantha, Amanda's eldest, worked in the local Thornton's chocolate shop in Leek, happily working to earn extra cash at every opportunity. Samantha met Mark Goldstraw, who was a lot older than her. Mark, 31, a labourer who lived in Leek, was a bit of a loner and knew Roddy through their love of motorbikes. On a couple of occasions, Mark would look after the house when the family were away on holiday. Samantha and Mark became close and before long they were an item. But after a while, Mark became abusive and controlling towards Samantha, so she decided to end their relationship. Mark tried to persuade Samantha to get back together with him, even going to the lengths of lying that he had been diagnosed with a brain tumour in a bid to win her back. But Samantha was simply not interested. He was infatuated with her, even though she was nearly half his age. Mark became very bitter and angry. He didn't take the rejection well. On March the 9th, 2006, Amanda was on her night shift. She called the house as she often did at around 10.30pm and spoke to Roddy, who at the time was reading Marcus a bedtime story. So she rang back around an hour later, but the phone just kept on ringing, so she naturally assumed that they were all sleeping. It was around 11.42pm when a neighbour heard a loud explosion and shattering of glass. She looked in the garden and could see bright orange flames blazing upwards. She saw flames engulf the front of the house. She heard screaming and looked up to see a face in the front bedroom of 10-year-old Patricia who was trapped. The fire crews attended immediately and on arrival it was stressed how there had been heroic efforts made to rescue those who were trapped inside the house but they were driven back by the roaring flames and the extreme heat. The fire was so intense that the back of the property was completely destroyed and tragically there were no survivors. All four occupants were killed. Police worked closely with the fire brigade and quickly established that the fire was started deliberately and with that a murder inquiry was underway. The question on everybody's mouth was who would do such a terrible act. It didn't take police long to find out about Mark Goldstraw and his recent bitter breakup with Samantha. Detectives went to a property in Leek where Goldstraw lived with his mother. As they got to the house, an officer stumbled across fire and smoke damaged clothes that had been placed in the outside bin of the property. Mark Goldstraw was arrested for the murders. During the police interview, Goldstraw said he'd not been in the area of Cheddleton and admitting that the clothes that were found in the bin were his but the damage was caused by an explosion that happened while he was maintaining his motorbike using WD-40 lubricant and quickly adding that the smell of the petrol was from a spillage while filling up his motorbike. Police knew he was lying and were already two steps ahead of Goldstraw. While investigating the tragedy, police had come across CCTV images of him buying a petrol can from a local petrol station with this as well as witness statements from the general public who reported seeing the Suzuki motorbike in the area of Cheddleton. But the main reason for him to be the prime suspect was due to the fact that back in 2001, Mark Goldstraw was convicted of manslaughter for beating to death his married lover, Deborah Wheatley. He convinced a jury that he loved Deborah and didn't mean to kill her. He was jailed for just seven years, but he was released early on licence after serving nearly four years. After his release in 2004, he began to date Samantha. 
The court heard how Goldstraw was so angry that Samantha had rejected him, that he hatched his evil plan. And on March the 9th, 2006, Mark Goldstraw went to Hillside Road in Cheddleton and waited for Roddy, Samantha, Patricia and little Marcus to go to sleep. He then let himself in through the back door where he set alight the downstairs hallway with petrol and a candle before making his escape. The fire was so ferocious it blew up half of the house. The judge deemed Goldstraw to be a loner and very obsessive, who simply couldn't stomach rejection. He now has the deaths of five people on his hands. The judge sentenced him to life in prison with the recommendation that he is to serve a minimum term of 35 years. Detective Chief Inspector Dave Garrett, who investigated the murders, said the scene at Hillside Road was one of the most challenging ever encountered by Staffordshire Police and confirmed that Mark Goldstraw is an extremely dangerous man. Relatives and friends said that they were a close and devoted family and were well known for being the perfect family. The village of Cheddleton and surrounding areas were devastated to learn of the shocking loss. Outside of the court, the children's father, Mark Carter, said in a statement, Goldstraw should stay locked up for the rest of his life. Describing him as the lowest of the low, he continues saying that my life has been turned upside down. Now I can hardly sleep at night. I have nightmares when all I see is my children screaming for help. In response to Goldstraw's sentencing, Amanda Carter said in a statement, Mark Goldstraw has been convicted of a terrible crime against four lovely people. His punishment will never fit his crime. For any parent to lose one child is devastating, but three can't be put into words. They had their whole lives to look forward to, and this has been cruelly cut short. The funeral service took place of Samantha, Patricia and little Marcus at St Edward's the Confessor's Church in Leek, followed by interment into Leek Cemetery. Roderick Hines' funeral was held at All Saints Church Leek, followed by a committal service at Calm Outside Crematorium. So that was the sad and tragic story of the Carter family. And here we are at the graveside. So if we just take a look at the stone, it reads, Very precious memories of Marcus Robert, age seven, Patricia Roxanne, age 10, Samantha Amanda, age 16, and sadly Robert, age one. Much loved sons and daughters of Amanda Carter, always in our thoughts, forever in our hearts. And at the bottom of the plinth, it reads, safe in the arms of Jesus. Good night and God bless. Oh, God bless you all. So if you have found today's murder story interesting, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Until next time, take care, stay safe, bye for now.